When it comes to a healthy fitness lifestyle, I believe that balance is key, which means that yes, I might eat a piece of chocolate tonight, but during moments of weakness, especially late at night when you're lonely or sad about something, that one piece of chocolate may become an entire bar or a cake or a pizza, whatever your weakness is. Mine tends to be sweet, so what I've done is basically shield myself from moments of weakness, especially if I'm having a particularly rough day. Then I post stickies all over my kitchen, on my fridge, in my pantry. Here's a great one. This is usually the first defense. No, instead, eat a grapefruit, go for a walk, call a friend, Twitter. Now, if I get past the fridge and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe the pantry's looking good, it's not worth it. You know that. But if those two barriers don't stop me, not to worry, in the pantry, I have something else. Yes, sugar equals fat ass. I know, sometimes I do have to go to the extreme. Tough love is what helps me sometimes. Just a little reminder that, uh-huh, you're gonna regret this in the morning. But if I do feel like, you know what? Food actually is going to be my friend. Food is going to make me feel better today. Instead of devouring a piece of cake, I turn to Bran Crisp Bread. These are so fabulous, and they're basically just made of fiber. It's, let me see, 16 calories, three grams of carbs, no fat, three grams of dietary fiber, one gram of protein per piece. So I'll just have that with honey, and I tell you, it fills me up enough so that I'm able to get out of that insane craving mode and do something healthier. So, sure, sometimes weakness does prevail, but overall, there are some little things that you can do to help minimize temptation. Post-its for me are key.